thing is like, what is, how does it all fit together? I know. But with two measures, you can actually hear the song. Right? So you can actually hear the song in there as opposed to just, which would just be like a lick or something. I know. Yeah. So, but yeah, so um, 
Good. Did you look at this one? I, at I did. I did a little bit. To, to, I did. Because he only had to do this first line. Uh, I, I well, I know I was only had to. The kickoff. Oh, the kickoff. Right. Okay. All, all with your index finger. All with my index finger. Yeah, come in with your index finger. The first, the first and second fret are going to be your index finger. Your pointer finger. For the slide. Yeah. It's, a, it's not a slide, it's a hammer on. Right, so again, like this, watch me. Wait. You see that? And I'll write I'll write those fingers in there because I didn't do that, but Oh, the hammer on, that's the Okay, because no. the reason you do that is so that you can reach down and and get that um, that E right there, right? If you did it like this, you can do it that way, but it, it's it might feel a little bit weird, right? I recommend. Try that with me. You're using these two fingers. And just do the first and second fret. Open. Yeah, just do that again. So you're starting on the second and you're sliding your middle finger down to give it that hammer effect. On the third. Right. So it's right. Right. Move move your fingers up a little bit closer to the frets. You're, you're, you're in you're playing in between the frets. You don't want to play in between the frets. You want to play on the frets. So Two and three, three, right here, right here. Three. Uh, You're not striking the string twice. That's why they call it a hammer. -on. You're hitting the string once, and you're oh, making that's two right. notes. That's right. There you go. You see that? You're making two notes out of one right hand movement. For some reason, but that's wrong, huh? 
It will be, a, yeah. It's going to, yeah. Yeah. You're skipping. You, sh you shouldn't skip. Uh, it needs to be this finger here, huh? Yeah. Right. And then the note underneath, which is open, so just... I don't know why. It's like, uh, it's like my hand just doesn't want to... These fingers don't want to hit that, that... It's like this... So this feels more normal to you? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably because of the way your, your muscles are set up. I... No. Yeah, that's going to change everything if you... Uh... That's all, that won't work, huh? So that's what I got to be right there, yeah, huh? Right, right. What the fuck? Yeah, middle finger wants to... Your thumb's way down here like this. Move your thumb up a little bit. So, so you got a little more. There you go. There you go. That's going to help you a lot. That's what you got to do. Sometimes you just might have to work for 15 minutes just doing that. Like it's all like fucking crazy on here in my arm to get to get that for some reason. You know, it's like it's so mm -hmm. uncomfortable. I... It's like my fingers yeah. don't bend. Or um, you're you're kind of up like this. Remember, you're like kind of like almost like holding a tennis ball down here. Just let your let your let your elbow fall down. See so yeah, it. If you're using your armrest to hold your hand up, that's bad. You want your arm to hold, just hold down, and right like that. as anything you're ever really? going to do on the banjo. Oh, no. I mean, oh, no. Foggy Mountain Breakdown, I mean, that is what the banjo was all about, was this, this one hammer-on. So you're learning the key hammer-on right now, so it's not time wasted. Uh, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I mean, I'm just giving you encouragement. Once, once you get that... Yeah, remember... Try it, try it with your lead in. 
Oh yeah, it's wide angle. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so we got our little charge in, and it's going to be uh, just your index finger, right, up to the second fret, and then you're then you're doing your hammer. Changes to the C chord, which is just making your C chord. Notice my pinky right there is picking up that third, the, the third fret. That's that seventh. Right? It's like um, um. so again from the beginning. Thank you. 
to that end of it yet anyway. <laughs> Let me do it again. I'll try to play as slow as I can so that you can play along with it, mm -hmm. okay? When you start getting used to it. This one here, mm -hmm. and that is a uh, pull off. So you're pulling down. Now some people will pull down. Okay, it's a double thumb, so it's a. Some people like to pull up. The problem that I have is when you pull up, you lose tone because you're going off the fret. So I'll go down on the fourth fret. If you're pulling up, if you're doing a pull up on the, say, the third string, that's fine. You don't lose your tone, but if you try to pull up, it's going to go off the edge and sound funny. So, really, is I know people that pull down and people that pull up. I pull down. I'm just a. That's how I like to do it that way. It just to me, it's just I. It just seems more natural. J.D. Crow, watch him play. He's he pulls up. up. Yeah. It really yeah. depends on what you feel comfortable with. But um, yeah, that's it. Um, you notice how there's no D open on that one because you want to make that sound. So you. If you did it with a uh, pinch, you'd be going. It would be redundant, right? It wouldn't sound like anything, but if you go, it gives you your, your notes. And all that is is that you're doing this roll and then the same roll, but you're adding the the second fret in there. You know what? You know what I what, I, what I've been noticing actually, and I. I kind of encourage myself mm -hmm. uh, and it's really slow but I'm able to sit here and finally look at look at the, you know the, the, the sheet paper mm -hmm. and play without looking down at anything and I'm starting to get to where these things this hand is mm -hmm. going up I'm mm -hmm. missing it a lot but I go back and redo it that's kind of how that's the only way I can learn yeah no. you know you know what I'm saying it's mm -hmm. like when I go from the like from the one of them is third and then I got to go up here to the you know, the right. first fret on the second. I'm able to do that finally with finding it with this hand. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's helping, it's encouraging, but mm -hmm. it's going to take a lot of time for this whole brain. Cause oh, yeah. It's, yeah. For, for my link between the paper and my hands and my brain, it's like, it's like I'm looking at this, I'm still struggling. Believe it or not, I'm still struggling. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, that's the bottom string. I'm mm -hmm. still struggling with that. Oh, yeah, you're still getting that. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah it's, it's, reading it, I'm still struggling with that. Yeah, and I don't know why. It's, it's, it's not, freaking it's, discouraging. You know, I, I was there once myself. You know, I yeah. used to do the same exact thing. Yeah. Get frustrated and think I was, look, I would turn it around in my brain. Yeah, yeah, that's so the way. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm playing the fourth string. Oh, wait, no, that's the first string. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's what I'm struggling with. But the thing is, is, is I have, I have faith. That that'll all go away, and I'll, I'll look back on and say, "Why was I fucking having problems right, with right. that?" That's what I'm waiting well, for. So, okay, so here's the little the little tidbit. So, um, if you, if like, if I gave you a kazoo, you, you ever played a kazoo? <laughs> you know, you, I had to one time. Yeah, you hum into it, and then you. Yeah. You know, if I gave you a kazoo, I don't care. I give anyone a kid a kazoo and say, "Hey, uh, play a song," you know, and the, you'd be all over the thing. You'd be like, you know, and it's all because. 
you, you just be putting in these different notes and whatever sounds good, right? Well, this, like a melody is the same thing as like playing a kazoo. So what I'll do, if I'm learning a new melody, is I'll, even during the middle of the day, I'll just think about that song and go, okay, what is what are the first three notes? Bum, 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 da, 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 bum, bum, ba, da, ba, da, right? Yeah. I'll get that in my head, and then I'll walk around all day just going bum 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 See, I'm out there. Come in, you play. Yeah. See, my my brain's not musically inclined. That's the problem. It's like I can't pick those different notes and sounds out of the song. But if if I said sing me smoke on the water, you could probably do it. Yeah. So you, you can. Yeah. It's just a matter of these are notes that you, you're learning for the first time. But <coughs> if it was a song like you know like you know Led Zeppelin, or you'd be like you. You could probably hum the first three yeah. bars to Stairway to Heaven. Yeah. You know. So uh, it, I, that's just where I'm. You know. I yeah. mean, I, it's like you're starting with somebody that's like doesn't know jack shit about music. And, and then, I like the challenge. Yeah, and, and, and as long uh, as you don't get pissed off at me, I, I'll keep no, doing no. this. Because no. it's like, I'm like, fuck, Tim's coming Tuesday, and it's like, <laughs> I haven't even got to this shit yet. Yeah. You know? and, and, but I, I'm, I'm past that. Well, when, I'm you start a, getting, when you start getting irritated with my success, then we'll back up, <laughs> or no, lack of, then we'll back up and, and well, punt. Well, listen, when I show up with Sister Teresa, now you're in trouble. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But until I show up with the sister. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? That's why I feel right now. Right. That's how I feel. It's like I don't. It's like I'm not mad at myself, but I just don't want you to get entertained. Well, no, what the no. fuck I, is this guy doing for the I seven the, days? I got, I got. Uh, believe me, I, I've got the patience to go. Okay, all right. Appreciate I it. Go, I could go all day. I appreciate uh, it. I could go any day, toe to toe with with uh, any teacher. So boil them cabbage down again. Don't forget to go back and play it again for me. Okay. This is the song that is was meant to get you started. Right. Because it's a song. <laughs> boil them cabbage down, make them biscuits brown. All that I know how to play is boil them cabbage down. Okay, everyone learns this song or a, a variation of it or yeah. a variation of a song. I haven't even gone back to that, Tim. So, I was talking about that other shit. Right, yeah. that's good, but remember to go back because if you, you got to go back to catch up to the where you are. I so, know. So if you're just doing your roll, and this is rolls. <laughs> C, which is a chord you're now learning with Old yeah. Clark. Lonesome Road, okay. That's G again. And then your D7, which we haven't done a lot of yet. But that's your role for D7. Okay, so again, if I'm playing slow. into the, the, the groove of a song. Just make myself you know, because proud of something I've done. That's what I'm looking for. You know, when I come over, and it'll happen, when I come over with my guitar, and then you know you're in serious business, I'll play the, the rhythm behind what you're playing. And so you'll be going, music at that point. 
So yeah. you're a banjo player. At yeah. That point. Yeah, you can't say, that's where I need to be. Not a I, I need to it accomplish something, like get a, over one hurdle, so yeah. it gives me a little bit of uh, enthusiasm to go to right. the next one. Right. So when you play that song over the top of me playing the guitar, we're picking. Yeah. I mean, that's like you could bust that act out at any family gathering and be, be famous. So yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm serious. It just no, just no, a, no. That's where I, I, I want to be. Yeah, that's where I want to be. You just want to get to that point, start learning, and and I. You know, I'll look in the archives of my brain and find, you know, different maybe songs that. I mean, obviously, you're getting the you're getting the the groove down on Old Joe Clark, right? Yeah. Once you get that little sequence down, you're you're really on your way. I mean, that's getting your right hand, your left yeah. hand integrated together, which is kind of the point of that song, and then. That is just a matter of putting the notes in, but yeah. but you, you're 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 learning it. I'll get it. I'll get it, Tim. It's gonna take it's gonna take a while, but I'll get it. I, I know I will. Cause it, it, I probably need to practice more than I am, but it's like, uh, huh? it's like I go out and kick the ball for the dog about you know about dark, and I'm sitting out there freaking having a cocktail, and mm -hmm. it's like an hour and a half goes by, and I should probably be in here freaking practicing, but it's just kind of like I need that time, yeah. you know. It's just like I need time to to, to do this mm -hmm. because if I want to accomplish this, I know I got to put the work into it, right. and 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 I have been, but I probably need to up my game some more. And, and you can fast forward your your uh, you know GoPro thing. You just um, yeah, just uh, 